Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Sagittarius. Let's see what's happening with you, Sag. Ooh, that card wants to come out. Well, spending a little time in solitude, are you? Maybe soul searching your path and your love life. Yeah, well, contemplating a few things. If it's yourself, it could be someone around you. A little Virgo energy, but it's just a time of energy of spending time alone here. Yeah. Let's pull out another deck. I'm going to use a lot of different decks. Let's have a look at the solitude. It's coming up after this. Sag. What is it you need to know, Sag Singles? New love prospects, connections. Yeah, so there is some financial and material changes. So there's been some obstacles here. Now this could be some material changes in some way, contemplating this path. So something is causing change, a little chaos, but it's going to, I feel like it's going to be positive. Yeah, prosperity is about to begin. <laughs> so yeah, it could have to do with money issues, but I feel it's more than likely there's some obstacles in your path here. Um, but there's the prosperity. This is the fruits, fruits of the labor. So you're going to connect with somebody here, something that's prosperous. So more than like, it could have to do with money, but it's looking like it's going to be fine. Uh, for the most part, I feel there's just some kind of um, uh, energy between two people here. Somebody's got two rings on their finger. That's interesting. So Sag, let's look at this. What does Sagittarius need to know? You love prospects, connection, or anyone you're dealing with? Yeah. So I do see there's money coming in, door to value. So there's something here about being valued. Wow, a lot to do with the money, but it's it's looking good. Yeah, some of you are definitely door to personal healing and happiness. So some of you are healing something. Now, this is often money, but I feel for a lot of this, this is the path you've been on. Uh, it's time you're being guided. Um, you've gone through a healing, and I mean, it could be just you've been focusing more on money. So that's actually looking good. It is the start of something here. And I do see two hands and that prosperity begins. So... Yeah, two people who value each other, two people maybe uh, working together, but it's guiding towards this healing and happiness and open door. It's making peace with the path, past, the path you've been on. You're being guided to step out that door. If you've been in the house spending time alone, it's time to get out. It looks like spending time alone working more than anything. Always feeling like there's not enough money. Yeah, the... You know, the man holding a coin. This could be yourself or you have someone coming in. Someone's definitely really thinking about their money. Yeah, look at that, the man holding a heart. So it's time to stop thinking so much about money if you're the masculine and start focusing on your love life or finding the balance. This is about healing. It's about finding personal happiness and taking this opportunity. It's about getting out. Someone's all, all work. See, all work. Always worried about their money. Someone's in that energy. And then we have, yeah, see, look at that. Adjacent possibilities. There's lots of opportunity. See, there's opportunity. There's some doors that are open that you visited, but there's still some doors that are closed. And at the end of this hallway, there is uh, an open door that's got a lot of light. So I feel some of you, the feminines here, I mean, you've got, uh, I think someone needs to, find balance between work and their love life. This is someone who's been spending too much time alone. Yeah, we have a person who's healed. They're resting, rejuvenating, uh, finding that balance. See, this is someone who needs to balance this out. But there's this is someone fantasizing, romanticizing, looking at all the possibilities. This is some of them been explored, yes, definitely. But there's this opportunity around you. That's why that card's here. Exploring the opportunity, taking the opportunities when they're presented. So you have an opportunity coming in. It's telling you to take it. If you have been healing and just spending time alone and focused on money, um, I feel it's saying it's time to now not focus just on that. Because if you come together, there's this new beginning right here. have a look at solitude a lot of people have been in solitude too much yeah there's some kind of news it's the start of something new it's the stork mm -hmm. so you have some kind of good luck coming in when it comes to finances but also your love life you need to find a way to balance the two 
Yeah, look at that. There's the book. So this is a book here. It's still closed. Something's um, unknown, but it's about, it's also an energy of being an open book too. But there's something in that book, messages, money. It's a ledger. It could be finances. Yeah, see, this is an energy of stability. There's stability. There's financial stability here. You're either interested in someone who is or you're stable. If you are a feminine watching this, this person's stable. Okay. So if you're the one who's, you know, sitting there in the house spending time alone, it's time to get out there. You got a solid person, they're stable. This is also someone who's their own. This is beautiful balance because this is someone who's their own anchor. And that's often, a, I connect this with the King of Cups a lot because the King of Cups is their own anchor. So there, this is somebody who's thinking about love here. If you are that feminine, if you're the masculine, you know what to do. That's the door to personal healing and happiness. Why is this here? Yeah, see, somebody is a feminine here that wants to make a move. They want someone stolid. They, they want the masculine to make the move. There's an opportunity. The door is open. So there's been a healing, but you can see this person wants, this is the feminine. There is a masculine here. So it is a feminine energy that wants this person to make a move. They want to start something. Look at this happiness and joy. Somebody's feeling happy. Some sort of opportunity for happiness here. Emotional fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the man holding a coin. Yeah, see, it's a, this is basically the similar energy. It's two people. I think it's both people who've been spending time alone. Now, this is somebody who, they have some skills. This person's dependable. They have both feet planted on the ground. This person has some skills. They're capable. They're, they're dependable. So this is somebody who's dependable. They want to start something. But they also want a partner, someone they can depend on. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> two people who are stable going to come together here yeah the man holding a coin why is this here too many man holding a coin there we go thank you there we have oh yeah the hands are clucking <laughs> I love this card. It gives me a chuckle every time. A lot of talk, a little gossip possibly, but it's all good. Yeah, it's all talking about this, this King of Cups. There's a, are the, uh, you know, the man holding a heart, which don't have to be the King of Cups. But I mean, this is someone who, you know, it's about wearing the heart on the sleeve. Yeah, look at that. See, there's opportunity. It's saying there is an opportunity. The door is open. It's time to get out. It's time to be open. It's time to heal. Because you can see the stability. This is stable. Financial stability. Both of you. Masculine and feminine. Let's have a look at rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, something is blossoming. It's the start of something. See, this is a single people who have a lot of abundance. So I feel both of you are very much in the same. You're both, you know, this is two people who work a lot. I always feel they don't have enough money, but yet they're lonely and they spend time alone. You know, this is what I feel. Look at the, this is, this is the abundance. This is the, the feast of plenty. Two people coming together here. There's a lot of talk and gossip about this. See what this book is about. The book drives me crazy when it comes up with certain energy. But this is an energy where the, the story has yet to be written about this these two people. <laughs> that much we know. Let's have a look. What is that book all about? What is the book about? The closed book. Somebody's closed off. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of harmony between two people. I, I'm going to tell you, this is something that feels like it's kind of... Um, meant to be it's a six there's harmony between two people you're very much the same but yet probably a little different like most people that's how you usually find the, the best harmony beautiful yeah partnerships and alliances see this is two people who want a partner they can rely on somebody the masculine's looking whether they can rely on this person but the feminine is like you know this is somebody who's like make a move 
This is somebody who's going to move on if someone doesn't make a move. Because this is a person who wants to be f happy. They want to be completely filled. They want to put all the cups on the table. It's like laying all the cards on the table, you know, being an open book kind of set, um, um, energy. Yeah. Tell me about this sun. The sun shining, the start of something. And we have we have oop, a wealthy man. So somebody here is fairly wealthy or they're comfortable. I mean, you could take it however, but this is someone who's got a lot of abundance. Yeah. And I do see an energy of change. Yeah, it's an energy of a nine. There's some sort of change. Someone's going through some kind of financial change. It's positive. So there is abundance, financial abundance coming in. Maybe this is what, you know, both people are working at here. Yeah, someone who has a house, a home, they have everything they need, but they're single. So it has to do with change. Now, some of you, if you have someone who you feel isn't going to change, um, you may decide to move on and choose another person because I do see the energy of possibly three for some of you. Tell me about this king of coins it's a wealthy person somebody uh, comfortable yeah there's a message of concern there's gossip and talk there's people are concerned yeah so too much it's you know the gossip oh yeah i've only seen this show up in like one other reading <laughs> a message of concern someone's concerned yeah it has to do with going down this path with someone so someone is not sure someone's stable or if someone has other options or prosperity I'll tell you about this person. They bring something to the table because they have their feet planted on the ground. They're stable. This isn't someone who's drama. They have skills. You see them sewing something. And I don't mean they just sew, but they have a lot of skills. I feel there's not a lot to be concerned about going down this path because this is the path. And they're, it's flowing. The emotions are flowing. There's the light. Yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel here. Whew. Let's have a look at the... Let's have a look at these chickens. Let's see. Let's pull out a different card for the chickens. Let's grab this one. Who are all these chickens clucking? These people talking. Who are they? That's an energy of strength and confidence. They're giving someone strength and confidence, telling someone to be confident. So, yeah, this is strength. So it looks like friends. A lot of talking. Tell me about this abundance. See, this is the op this is an opportunity. I'm going to tell you, it's telling me this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This path, going down this path with this person, the feminine, the masculine. This is stability. It's about a house and a home. It's about wealth. Now, there's people talking that maybe, you know, this other person doesn't have any money or whatever it is. I, I sense. But I think what we have is, for most of you, I don't think there's anything here to be concerned about because I feel this is the path um, going towards this person here. This feminine wants someone to get this moving. It's like, get it moving. Yeah, it's about coming in right, whether someone's right for someone or not. So everybody's got to put their two cents in there. Mm -hmm. Let's have another look at this. What's all this communication about? All this talk, gossip. It has to do with somebody who's very sexy, very charming. Uh, the queen of inspiration. Yeah. But someone may not be right for someone. And maybe they, I actually feel there's nothing to be concerned about. I actually feel there's an energy of someone who's confident. Yeah. I really feel this is someone telling someone to be confident. I don't think there's anything to be concerned. There may be some, whether someone's right for someone or not. But I actually feel like it's... Because I'm seeing the Feast of Plenty. I'm seeing an opportunity. This is a huge opportunity. Yeah, someone's longing for love. See, in their emotions. This is somebody, we got a King of Cups longing for love. But like I say, I feel this is someone who's not sure if someone's right for them or not. But boy, yeah, they're in those feelings big time. I do see possibility of a little gift. Someone might be telling this person something. Yeah, six of voices, a lot of thinking. It's the energy of someone needing to learn. It's about taking the lessons they've learned from those doors that that are, you know, have have 
been opened and there's nothing there. And then there's a broken door, you see? So this is someone taking all those lessons they've learned from these opportunities, applying it to the next. So I do feel that somebody here has learned some lessons, but it's about moving forward calmly and peacefully. It's also an energy of oh, maybe people giving someone advice, telling them to um, take more time to get to know someone to make sure they're right for them because there are some, there's some concern, okay? Yeah, there's some kind of concern and a communication to do with that. Tell me about this nine. It's like the queen of pentacles energy. Somebody who takes care of themselves, looks out for themselves, but it's anybody who's single. Yeah, there's some sort of ace of inspiration. So there's some sort of spark. Somebody is, there's this spark, there's this attraction. And somebody may not be right for someone. I actually feel, I'm going to tell you, it's about this person. It's about this masculine coming in right and being fair. Now, this could be some concern where people are sharing it with yourself. That this person maybe didn't treat someone right. Okay? Whatever it may be. Some kind of concern. But I, I got to tell you, I feel like you're focused. You're taking the lessons you learned from the past. I feel like you've got this regardless if you're the feminine. Okay, like I say with the masculines, I don't think there's a whole lot to be concerned about. But again, it's in the center. Take time to get to know this person. Just move forward calmly and peacefully. If you feel like there's something that's not, not right, you move on to avoid a disaster. And if there is a choice, somebody likely will avoid a disaster with someone. Okay, but there's still a passionate new beginning, a spark. This is that spark between two people. I actually feel we got a couple of people who could be right for each other because I'm sensing this King of Pentacles um, is very similar to this person here, which, and then I'm seeing this energy of kind of the, you know, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy under here. So there's some earth. Both people have earth in their chart. Both people focused on money. Both people spending a lot of time alone working. So there's news, the start of something new. There's news of it and everybody's talking. <laughs> oh yes they gotta talk right <laughs> tell me about this ace of inspiration yeah see there's news communication good news friends of friends family members chirping away singing the song so there is something positive yeah very nice yeah there is going to be yeah there it is communication i feel this feminine wants the other person to make a move they want them they want to but this is someone who's made a move before they took the first move and communicated with somebody and that person didn't treat them right. So this is somebody who's looking at this. We know the Queen of Wands is someone who doesn't settle. The Queen of Wands is someone who knows exactly what they want and they want this person to come in uh, right. They, I feel they feel this person's right for them, but if they don't, they're going to move on. This is someone who's learned from the past. If the feminine makes the move, the other person... You know, often, um, you know, it's a person who's suspicious. There's this message of concern where they're concerned probably why this person's making this move suddenly. So, yeah, I think this is someone who's learned those lessons they know. Yeah, especially if somebody, uh, we have an emperor here. So we have someone who's an emperor. Um, so this masculine could be Aries if you're a feminine um and I see Leo, Aries, Leo, and Sag energy. There's fire here. Everybody's got a little fire. But I also see the earth energy and this concern about money. If someone's right for someone or they're coming in right. Um, but I, I, I feel it's whether this is the right path. And I actually feel this is somebody who was on the wrong path is now actually going to be on the right path. I, I think this is something special. Yeah, we've got a person shedding. Somebody here is shedding it. The masculine is shedding that skin. You see? They're figuring things out, fixing things, and they're shedding all the things that they no longer need. So if, if this is somebody who um, finds out that someone isn't faithful or loyal or something isn't right or they're only interested in someone for money, this person's going to be leaving that person behind. Mm-hmm. What is this emperor's intentions? The emperor's intentions are, ooh, I see wisdom. Yeah, they got, this is the three, we got, yeah, they're going to talk to their friends. Yeah, they're being wise. <laughs> we got the, the three wise souls here. 
likely some friends who know this person, a lot of wisdom. He's looking at this. Yeah, it's an energy of someone being a good catch. See, this is talking about someone being a good catch. This is often, again, I mean, I often associate it with the Queen of Pentacles because I see this in a lot of tarot or the bear because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who um, is a good catch. Um, but it, it, in this card, it's masculine or feminine. I feel this is somebody who has, you know, they're strong, they're capable, they're reliable. Um, you know, the good catch. This is someone who's, you know, got their eye on the future, always planning and preparing. So there's a lot of wisdom talk, people talking. Yeah, this is someone, you know, looking at their, you know, their three wise old souls here, their friends possibly. Yeah. Tell me more about this emperor. Let me grab another deck. We'll just get ready to wrap this up. Yeah, I think this is just one of those things where money is a big issue. And it's it, somebody acts like maybe they don't have any money, but they do because they're a bit concerned that the other person's intentions aren't necessarily what they think they are, you know? Yeah, or what they would hope rather they be instead of... Because it looks like it has to do with somebody, the door to value is somebody wanting something, um, and it could be someone who's been taken advantage of before too, because we often see that. So tell me about the uh, the this this emperor has uh, been in hermit mode. Now yeah, see they've mastered spiritual mastery. They trust their intuition, their inner knowing. There's going to be communication. This person's going to communicate. Yeah, the king of wands. So they are a. Um, Sag, Aries, Leo, or Sag, so you can flip this energy, but it's really the same. This is someone who's got to take the lead. See, they need to take the lead because I feel the feminine has taken the lead before and they learned that lesson. They want somebody to come in right. That way, the only way they know if someone's, if has, you know, the right intentions, but it has to do with being fair. And I do see someone needing to balance their work and their love life. And I think both people that are coming together here are going to have that concern. Okay. Yeah, it has to do with family legacy. It could be a family business. It has to do with stability. A lot of wisdom. Some wise old souls here. Those hoodows. <laughs> I love this deck. But this is about a family legacy. It's about partnering up. This has to do with stability. This is two people that would make great partners. I actually feel this could very well happen, Sag, masculine or feminine. A lot of fire here, but also a lot of earth, a lot to do with money, family legacy, um, family history. Mm-hmm. Because I do feel that we have someone here who, because um, often this is someone who, you know, they're their, this is someone being their own anchor. They're stable financially. They may feel like the other person isn't stable. There's some kind of concern that they're, you know, coming in for the wrong reasons, but this person is stable. It's a matter of communicating. Again, it's all about communicating. It's an energy of being wise, asking the questions, you know, but not everybody is, uh, yeah, temperance. See, Sag, tempering those emotions, head and heart decision here, balancing out work and your love life. I feel that's the biggest thing is balancing out the both. And I, I feel we have a person who... Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of workaholic energy, and I think it's just the sign of the times in the world right now, too. Everybody's very concerned with their financial future. You know, it's been kind of kind of rough in a lot of countries uh, with stuff going on. So it's really just trying to balance out the two. But I think we have two people who could be in perfect balance with each other here because this is both people stable, two people who've learned a lot of lessons. See, moving forward calmly and peacefully, taking time to get to know each other. And that's all you have to do. And if you find this person, something is off or it doesn't feel right, you just move on and avoid a disaster. And you just leave it in the past. That's all you do. And that's what I feel is going to happen here. Yeah, it could be someone giving somebody wise advice with those owls. Wise advice to just... Because that's what I feel. This person's got... 
maybe both of you, masculine or feminine, have people telling you, take more time to get to know someone or and spending time with someone to get to know them because this is how you form a bond is you learn about each other and you grow closer. And once you grow closer, then you know. You have to get close. You got to get up close and personal, okay? Because I feel with temperance, it's an energy of somebody who's always trying to, you know, um, avoid the disaster, always trying to avoid any kind of confrontation, see? But you have to. Someone here is definitely in that um, hermit mode, confronting possibly themselves in the path that they've been on and where they want to go. But, I mean, this person definitely, there's there's this spiritual journey here. See, it's, it's, it's learning about each other's histories. There it is. This is about history of five. You know, it's about getting to the root of the situation and learning about each other. It's about your past. Now, if this is somebody that you've dated with at some point, and there's a lot of time in between, or maybe you're just friends or something, you know, but there's this, this transition with the six is all this time in between where someone doesn't know someone's history. So there's a lot of curiosity here too. There's a lot of things that need to be known. I think for both people, there it is. See this, you know, you can see there's this big stone here. It marks the trail. It goes in two different directions. So this could be two people who've gone their separate ways at some point or, you know, maybe work together or something and you've gone down different paths and you're possibly coming back together. But it's all this time in between um, your histories. There's things that are that need to be known, but it's possible, you know, this because I, I feel this isn't written in stone. Somebody kind of feels like they kind of got this handled. And I think people are giving somebody wise advice to take more time to get to know someone to avoid a disaster if they've been through it before. Because two people could go their separate ways. But this is the time in between. So there's something that you have a history with this person. Or it's friends of a friends and you know each other's histories. So yeah, so I see some kind of an agreement between two people. I think you're both going to agree. You need to get to know each other more. Okay? And when you need a little break to gain your balance, then you ask for a break. And if the other person doesn't agree, they might not be right. I mean... It's all about that level of maturity. I don't see anyone here who's needy and need tons of attention. In fact, the King of Pentacles, as as much as this feminine energy, this is basically the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> a similar energy, a, a person who's likes to plan and prepare. They're always they're always working. They're always doing something, planning and preparing ahead. This person's a good catch, but I think both of you are a good catch, and this is the thing. And I don't see catch and release here, to be honest. But it's an energy of getting to know each other, letting each catching up to each other. I feel there's a lot of catching up. Uh, if you already know this person, if you have a history, or it's just things that need to be known about your histories as you grow closer. So yeah, there's a lot to do with family legacy, stability. Yeah, see, there's that good catch. <laughs> So someone who's always working, planning ahead, see? Both of you. Lovely. Take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.